In this video, Touchstone Infusion Pharmacy will be providing step-by-step -step instructions on how to administer your prescribed milrinone or dobutamine infusion using a Curlin pump. Be sure to remove your medication from the refrigerator about one to two hours before it is time to change your medication bag. It is important to never speed up the warming process by heating or microwaving your medication. Collect your supplies needed to change your bag and start a new one. You will need alcohol pads, your room temperature medication, and the correlating Curlin pump. Start by cleaning your work area with a disinfecting cleaner. Then wash your hands with antibacterial soap and water, or you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. In your delivery box, you will receive two Curlin pumps, one pump holster, one pole clamp, and one wall adapter. The battery compartment is located on the back of the pump. Touchstone Pharmacy will supply two C batteries for each day of therapy. The wall adapter is located underneath the pump. When the adapter is plugged in, the batteries are bypassed, thus conserving battery life. The pump can stay plugged in or run off of battery power. Before stopping and disconnecting your milrinone or dobutamine infusion, you must first prepare your new infusion using the Curlin pump. Typically, your IV bag has been spiked, which means the IV tubing is connected to the bag and simply needs to be loaded into the Curlin pump and primed. To load the tubing into your Curlin pump, lift the lever on top of the pump labeled lift to open, then pull the lever outwards. Locate the blue and yellow arrows on either side of the pump. Twist and pull the yellow tab from the yellow cartridge on the IV tubing. Insert the blue plastic piece into the square opening next to the blue arrow. Move the tubing along the soft gray top of the pump while using your finger to hold the blue plastic in place. Next, insert the yellow cartridge into the square space below the yellow arrow. Close the lever and press down the tab until you hear a click. Unclamp your IV line and loosen the blue cap at the end of the IV line. You are now ready to turn your pump on. Press the orange on-off button located on the upper left side of the keypad. You will hear a series of three beeps as the pump performs a self-test. System OK will appear. Your battery strength will appear. Next, select Program by pressing the green Yes Enter button. Then, select Repeat RX by pressing the green Yes Enter button. Please note, you will always select Repeat RX when starting a new bag and select Resume when resuming the same bag. Now you are ready to prime your IV line. Press the dark green Prime Bolus button once, located at the bottom right corner of the keypad. Please make sure to loosen the blue cap at the end of the line to allow air to exit the tubing, and that the white air filter is flat down on a smooth surface. Now, press down and hold the dark green Prime Bolus button. You must continue to hold down on the button to remove all the air out of the line. This normally takes about 5 to 7 milliliters. When the line is primed, you will see a few drops come out of the end of the line. Now you are ready to connect your new IV medication bag to your IV line. Disconnect your old medication bag line. Wipe your IV line with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds. Connect the new medication bag to your IV line. Turn the Curlin pump on again by pressing the orange on-off button located at the top right of the keypad. Select Program by pressing the green Yes Enter button. The pump will display a series of screens highlighting the bag volume, volume to be infused, the rate of medication ordered per hour, and total time of the infusion. Finally, select Run by pressing the Run Pause button on the upper right of the keypad. The green light next to Run will begin to flash. You have now successfully started your infusion using the Curlin pump. For any unused lumens on your pick line, you will need to flush each one with both saline and heparin to ensure they stay clean. Wipe your IV line with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds. Uncap your saline syringe. Push the plunger up slowly to allow a few drops of saline to drip out of the tip of the syringe. 
Attach the saline syringe to your IV line using a push and twisting method. Flush your IV line by pushing the saline syringe plunger until all of the saline has been administered into your line. Disconnect your saline syringe from your line and discard in the normal trash. Wipe your IV line with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds. Uncap your heparin. Pull back the plunger to allow air to enter the syringe. Push the plunger up slowly to allow a few drops of heparin to drip out of the tip of the syringe. Attach the syringe to your IV line. Flush your IV line by pushing the syringe plunger until all of the heparin has been administered into your line. Disconnect your heparin syringe from your line and discard in the normal trash. Lastly, recap your IV line and tighten the clamp. This concludes the IV medication administration process. Please call our on-call nurses or pharmacists with any questions or concerns. We are always available to help clarify home infusion therapy and make this process as easy as possible for you.